my brothers and sisters in Christ, in our first reading, Moses reminded his people of the commandment of God and urged them to be steadfast, to it in order, to be successful in life. Importantly, he warned them not add or remove from it. However, this warning was not taken seriously because the Pharisees multiplied the Ten Commandments to about 613 legal codes. Through this they made life practically and extremely difficult for the people of God. This was why later in Galatians chapter 3 Paul had to make such a case against the law. He did not completely condemn the law but the way his fellow Pharisees conceived, abused and presented it. He argued that the spirit of the law was more important than its letters. So in today's gospel, Jesus confronted the Pharisees because of their hypocrisy. They never observed the law that they multiplied for their people. This is a dangerous way of life that we especially priests, deacons and religious, the modern day Pharisees must be careful of it. We must not like a hypocritical life or even make life difficult for others. Furthermore, by saying that, what comes out of a man is what defiles him. Jesus calls us to self-evaluation the malicious intentions, the hatred, pride, the corrupt tendencies we harbour in our hearts are really what define and make us who we are. They are the vices that makes us bad. We must evict them before they rock our spiritual boat. They are the real and hidden enemies that we must fight and defeat daily. The quality of our life is measured by the quality of our heart and mind. If our mind and heart are infested and sick, our body would be sick a thousand times more, even without one knowing it. So, the important, the thing that God needs from us, a pure heart, as Jesus taught us. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God according to Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. The best way to be faithful to God's command is to allow our hearts to be transformed by it. So, rather than pay excessive attention to the letters of the law and physical purity, we must heed Paul's advice. Let your hearts be inwardly transformed so that you will know the will of God God's will is His law. It must not motivate us to love others and to avoid evil. It must evoke through repentance and sincere will to forgive others. It must be keep us firm faith. Above all, it must move us to pursue only what is good, just, noble and holy. Today, the Apostle James admonishes us in our second reading accept and submit to the word God's command which has been planted in you. You must do what the word tells you. Of course, the best way to do this is to let our Christianity find expressions the way we live, love and treat one another. Finally, the psalmist reminds us that the just shall live in the presence of God. This means living his word and command with a pure and sincere heart. So, let us humbly pray like David, according to Psalm, chapter, Psalm 51, 10. Create a pure heart in me, O Lord, and put a new and loyal spirit in me. I wish you God's blessing and have a great week.